In this edition of In the Trenches with Dave Lappin, brought to you by First Star Logistics, as always, we take a deep dive with defensive coordinator Lou Anarumo into his thought process of the adjustments that he made from the first half to the second half in that AFC championship game. It was a Charles Dickens tale of two halves special. I mean, they suffocated the Chiefs in the second half. Three points, three points on the road at Arrowhead in an entire half. It was just a performance that was a masterpiece. And Luana Rumo will tell us all about it. Welcome once again to In the Trenches with Dave Lappin, brought to you by First Star Logistics from our outstanding First Star Logistics studios, as always. And we have ourselves a guest right here. I'm thinking if they have an award for a coach of the uh, championship round, this guy should be the winner, Lou Anarumo. I mean, what the adjustments that you guys made from the first half to the second half Look at looking at the tape of uh, studying it a little bit in that second half of that football game, coach. It was extraordinary. I mean, you had Patrick Mahomes not only on his heels, but really, I'm not sure he really understood what he was seeing out there. It was crazy. Well, appreciate all that, all those kind words. Uh, you know, the the players, um, you know, deserve all the credit. They did such a great job of uh, sticking with the plan. You know, obviously made some. Uh, tweaks here and there as the game goes on with different strategies as we saw fit. Um, but, uh, I mean, our guys just – you talk about leaving it all out on the field, trying to chase that guy around all day, good luck. Um, and then, you know, uh, when we – when they won the toss in overtime, um, you know, we had just come off that long drive and our guys were, were gassed. And I was a little bit worried. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, again, it just shows the resiliency of our players and um, – and it, and it, and their gutting, uh, you know, just their grittiness, and and man, somehow, you know, Jesse gets the big play, and there's so many guys you can uh, talk about. It is just unbelievable. It it really was, and you know, you were doing some zone blitz stuff. You know, uh, you you have your linebackers up there, you have Bailey and Wilson up there, and who's coming, who's not, and and it was Sam Hubbard showed the versatility that I know you were hopeful uh, mm-hmm. when you drafted him. Hopeful that he would provide. I mean, he's he's. I see him in the slot. You know, he kind of like jams a uh, receiver, and then he drops back into a linebacker position. He's spying Mahomes, and then he times it perfectly, one to burst and make a play on him, take him to the ground. I mean, you know, you spied with uh, Logan Wilson. It looked like to me a couple of times, and I mean, you, you guys, it was it was so multiple, so varied. Is that because of the versatility, of the athletes that you have there defensively, Coach? Yeah, I don't think there's any question. You know, we can do. As you mentioned, we had different guys look spying them, and um, you know, and uh, uh, all the different pieces that we asked these or different techniques that we asked asked our players to do, they were able to handle, and uh, you know, they they just executed at such a high level against a great football team in a in a <laughs> unbelievably hostile environment. Yeah, I mean, you you get down twenty one to three. <laughs> That's not recommended. No, in a place no. like Arrowhead. <laughs> no. Yeah, and and uh, but then you know it, it's twenty-one to ten, um, and then the the four the second down play from the one yard line with five seconds to go, uh, that whole that whole sequence there, uh, y- you played. I mean, Uzie just pressed the heck out of his receiver. The coverage, mm-hmm. the man coverage you played there, and then you know Apple has to motion all the way across the back of the defense. Yeah, it was and tough. Stay in, and stay in his coverage with Tyreek Hill, and then comes downhill and makes that play. Coach, was was that kind of the trigger to what you did in the second half after you saw how the guy mm-hmm. responded on that two play sequence? Well, it definitely, it definitely um, gave us a shot in the arm. You know, we hadn't done much uh, very well, uh, obviously in the first half, and uh, you know, so that play kind of got us going a little bit, and then we knew how important that first drive of the second half would be with them getting the ball that we had to make them punt. And sure enough, you know, we do. Um, And that was just the start of things. And then the offense got it going. And, um, man, it was, uh, you know, as they say, the rest is uh, history. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, okay, you already know this, obviously, but a lot of our folks uh, that are listening and, and watching don't, I don't think. 
in the in the third quarter, the Kansas City Chiefs ran 12 snaps, three possessions. They ran 12 snaps uh, for 40 yards and two first downs. They punt, punt, interception. And then the first two possessions of the fourth quarter, they run six snaps for minus six yards. Punt, punt. So five possessions, 18 snaps for 34 yards. Uh, the, the, the final eight plays – from the last drive of the third quarter, first two drives of the fourth quarter, eight plays for one yard against the Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead. I mean, you were suffocating them. You were choking them out. They 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 couldn't they couldn't manufacture a first down. It was just it was it was a sight to behold. And then uh, obviously start playing good complimentary football, and the, yeah. the offense starts uh, taking uh, taking advantage. Yeah. Uh, again, I I just can't. I appreciate it, and I, I but I just can't. Uh, say how proud I am of the guys and uh, the players and the staff, uh, how we all work together. And, um, you know, it's never just one of us, not a, not one player, not one coach. It's all of us. And, uh, you know, super, super um, happy for everybody, happy for everybody in the city, for our organization. Um, you know, to see Mr. Brown up there accepting that trophy uh, means the world to us as a, as a team. You know, the, uh, the interception that B.J. Hill had, B.J. Hill made a play. That will go down, and you know it's historic. Historic, one of the historic plays in the AFC Championship game. Trent Taylor makes one for the offense on the two-point yeah. conversion. So you got guys that are like, okay, when you project you know, who's going to make big plays during the course of the game, those aren't two names that roll off your tongue. But mm -hmm. that was another one where you had a little zone blitz look, you know, and, yep. and Mahomes, you know, was, oh, what do I do? And and BJ Hill made a hell of a play, didn't he? Yeah, he did. You know, it's a, one of our, as you mentioned, his own, his own blitz. And, um, you know, Vaughn was about to sack him. And so he sped him up. And, uh, you know, BJ, it, it, the, the, the other thing about that play is Trey Anderson drops into coverage. Right. And right. he was in the window initially. So Mahomes had to kind of pump it. And, uh, and then he tried to force it and not take the sack. And, uh, you know, BJ just made a super athletic play. Really, it's, it's the same play as... Mike Hilton did last week. He bats it to himself, and <laughs> right. just, uh, and off we go. So we'll we'll, we'll need a couple of those next in uh, two weeks too. You know that's uh, that that's talk about the the big interception by Von Bell, where Jesse Bates you know breaks on the football and 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 times it perfectly, breaks it up with Tyreek Hill. And during the game, I saw the official on the Kansas City Chiefs sideline signaling incomplete. I mean, the yeah. dude signaling incomplete, and I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? And yeah. you know. I didn't. I didn't see it uh, right away that it, it carried him so quickly into the uh, into the lap of Von Bell. But I'm thinking, are you going to call? Are you going to blow a whistle and say what? What are they going to do here? Well, yeah. they, they 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 obviously uh, didn't mess that up. No, I, I couldn't see it um, from my vantage point. I was blocked out by yeah. a bunch of people, you know, the the players, and I couldn't see what happened. So sometimes I judge it by the reaction of the fans. You know, if you, if you don't hear anything, then you know, it's incomplete. And I just thought it was Jesse knocked the ball down and it's incomplete. Next thing I know, you know, upstairs said, no, we picked it. And there's Vaughn running with it. I was just incredible. So, um, you know, and then, uh, and then, you know, Joe and the offense go down and make, uh, you know, a couple of key throws to T and uh, Joe makes some runs. And the next thing you know, we got a chip shot to go to the Super Bowl. It's incredible. It really, it really is. I got to ask you before we uh, run out of time here, Coach. Uh, your first impression of your opponent yeah. in Super Bowl Fifty Six, the Los Angeles Rams. What do you think? Well, you know they've been they've been here. They've been there a couple of years ago, and uh, so they've got a lot of guys that are back and and uh, won't be their first time. Um, they do a great job. Coach McVay does a great job on offense. Uh, you know, moving pieces around, and you know, but you know. Uh, Cooper Cup, how can you say uh, uh, you can't say enough about him? Uh, you know, Odell had a big game the other day, uh, and they run the ball well. So, you know, they, they each week is a different problem. Um, you know, we'll uh, we're you know jumping heavy on that today, and you know the next two weeks, obviously. But uh, hey, we're looking forward to the challenge. Our guys have stepped up uh, every uh, step of the way uh, to every challenge that they've had this year, and uh, I would imagine that the Super Bowl will be no different. Let me get you out of here on this, Coach. You know, you're looking for intel, any advantage you can possibly have. The Andrew Whitworth story will be big in this game. Yeah. Played for both franchises. Obviously, 
Sean McVay and uh, Coach Zach Taylor. You know, Zach is a, a branch of the McVay coaching tree. They know each other's mindset, how they think, and all that sort of thing. But that that goes both ways. And then also, when I think about it, Brian Callahan, Coach Matt Stafford, mm -hmm. was when they were in Detroit together, does all of that stuff, does all of that give you added intel? Or is it something like, ah, watch the tape and just see what they're doing? That's all That's all stuff. But it, it's – it's nothing more than gravy. I mean, the the brass tacks is what they're what they're doing on tape. Well, the, I think it's a, a combination of all that. You know, you get you get the meat and potatoes of what they do. Um, you know, from the video and you're watching the tape and studying that, and then you get a good feel for you know how maybe coach likes to call it or different things that you know. Hey, here's what he really likes in these situations. So, right. you know, here's what Matthew doesn't like. You know, it's some of those things you can pick up. But at the end of the day, it'll come down to our guys executing our defenses now that we've been playing for, uh, I don't know how many games, 20, 20, <laughs> 20 something, 21, 22 plus preseason. So, I don't know. 23. But, That's 23 yeah. in the book and looking looking on. Yeah. So, no, we're, we're, uh, we're excited. Yeah, you should be. And I'll tell you what uh, – it's I, I, I feel so good for everybody involved. I mean, man, the organization, uh, the coaches, the players, it's it's well earned and well deserved. There is no doubt about it. You guys, you guys have uh, you've taken the the city is totally infatuated with what you guys are doing. You have you have turned this city of Cincinnati and the tri-state area upside down in a very good way, coach. No, it's it's uh it's makes us uh it makes it makes it that much more gratifying and um you know we're we're all in this thing together and we can feel the, the love and the support from the community and um uh, to just get a, got to get that for one more game boy based on what i saw in the second half in that afc championship game giving you an extra week to game plan watch out rams i hope so you don't, <laughs> you don't know what lou's coming up with man he's in so. the he's in the lab he's the chemist in the lab putting it all together yes have a sir good one, coach have a good week all right lab thanks thanks everybody Appreciate you. Yep, bye. At First Star Logistics, we're a very strict company that really puts the pressure on our employees. <laughs> Brakes? What are those? That's what I'm talking about, Icky. Get the body right, then the mind's right. You know, yeah. you know you gotta get that body right. That's right. right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Become a star with a chance to earn the highest commission percentages in the industry as a freight broker agent. Check out FirstStarLogistics.com.